नियतम संग रहितम अराग द्वेषतः कृतम अफल प्रेप सुनाप कर्म यदत सात्विकम उच्चते हेलो फ्रेंड्स फ्रेंड्स दिस इज दी ट्वेंटी थर्ड श्लोक ऑफ दी एटीन्थ चैप्टर ऑफ भगवत गीता एंड टुडे वी विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस श्लोक इन डिटेल सो लेट्स फर्स्ट गोर इट्स मीनिंग्स द श्लोक सेज नियतम संग रहितम विच मीन्स रिस्ट्रेन्ड विदाउट अटैचमेंट अराग द्वेषतः कृतम विच मीन्स डन विदाउट अट्रैक्शन एंड एवर्जन अफल प्रेप सुना कर्म विच मीन्स एक्शन विद नो डिजायर फॉर इट्स फ्रूट यथत सात्विकम उच्चते विच मीन्स दैट इज सेट टू बी सात्विक सो आफ्टर स्पीकिंग ऑन नॉलेज श्री कृष्ण इज नाउ स्टार्टिंग टू स्पीक ऑन एक्शन एंड ही स्टार्ट ऑफ विद डिस्क्राइबिंग दी सात्विक एक्शन so in regards to the satvik action he mentions that uh, this action is performed under restraint uh, without attachment it is free from attraction and aversion and it is performed with no desire for its fruit so satvik action as we all know uh, must be the one which is associated with the satvik quality and uh, the satvik quality is the quality of goodness so satvik action must be the one which is performed in the mode of goodness and uh, based on the teachings of uh, bhagavad gita we have already understood that for an action to be good there must be some criteria that it should meet so the first criteria is that the action must not be harmful to others it must uh, be something which is always bringing something good for others now it, this doesn't mean that you will not use force sometimes you have to use force to do good to others but still the uh, ulterior motive of the action is to not harm the others so therefore it must be restrained it must be well thought of that what could be the consequences of it uh, secondly the doer must not consider himself to be the doer if he wants the action to be superior because uh, if the doer is thinking of himself to be the doer then he will have to bear the consequences of those actions but satvik uh, action will be something which will not have any consequences therefore the doer must not consider himself to be the doer of that action he should just think that he is being used by the divine as an instrument to carry out this action so the ultimate doer is the lord and not the person itself so therefore it must be performed without any attachment there should be no feeling that i am doing it there should only be feeling that the lord is making me do it uh, thirdly the criteria for a good action is that the action must be performed dispassionately it should not be performed under some sort of a passion that you know you are feeling very attracted towards it or you are feeling very repulsed towards the something and then you are acting so it should not be performed wherein you are getting attracted to something and therefore you are acting or you are getting repulsed with something and therefore you are acting so therefore it should be performed without any attraction and aversion and the fourth criteria for a good action is that the action must be performed for no selfish motive at all and over here when we talk about selfish it means selfish uh, this means that the selfishness should be avoided at all levels not just at an individual level but also at the group level say if you are acting for your nation but you are acting selfishly for your nation then that also is a selfish action because uh, you are identified with your nation and then you are doing it for the nation so the action must be performed with no selfish motive at all at all levels so therefore it must be performed with no desire for its fruit so these are the four factors that are important to make an action good and that is what shri krishna has mentioned in this shlok that the action must be performed under restraint it should be without attachment it should be free from attraction and aversion and it should we perform with no desire for attaining any of its fruit so actions while fulfilling these criteria will bring the well being to the self and also to the others and therefore such an action will be a satvik action so that was the message of this shlok i hope that i have explained this shlok well to you with that i'll close this video i'll see you in the next video take care